this poem um, after realizing, realizing I didn't know anything about the tale of Lady Godiva. So I did some research and then realized I didn't like the tale of Lady Godiva. <laughs> so uh, I changed it. Long locks from fairy tales, color of honeycomb, marbled skin like Greek statue, her opalescent flesh rippled in the frigid air of English countryside. She knelt on bare knees, praying into the stale morning light of her husband's stable. If she indulged his sneer, withdrew her dignity for a moment, he would lift his taxes, let her people prosper. She stood with heavy thoughts. Her naked body was gleaming, veiled in sunlight and stable air. She mounted a horse of black onyx, strong muscles of beast flexed beneath delicate thighs like saplings. She sat gracefully, blushing with the heat of the horse's body. She pulled her hair over her shoulders, withholding what chastity she could, covering the rise of her breast. She led the horse from the stable onto cobbled streets. They trotted easily past paled faces and averted eyes. She smiled at the thought of her husband, hearing of her scandal from the stable hand. She grinned, remembering his scorn, his flippant and greedy eyes. She scanned the turned heads, the windows without faces. She saw only the blue sky mirroring her beauty. She pulled her hair away from her body, uncurling from shame. She let nudity become natural. That's when she saw him, standing at the corner with open eyes and jaw. His head moved with her body. He was stone, magic almost in the ethereal morning. Her eyes trapped his. The same shade of desire raced between her breasts. She let herself flush with his eyes on her. Her dignity had been forgotten, given to the horse. Infatuation bloomed and she could hear nothing. She was deaf to hooves and shock, deaf to yelling husbands and pleading peasants. She could hear nothing but the white light of passion, wanting. She could only listen for his breathing and hers. She knew what true sin was. He could have been naked like she was, could have mimicked the tale of Adam and Eve, but this was bigger than myth. She slid off the horse, letting bare feet revel in cobblestone heat. She embraced him, his arms encircled her waist, blushing cheeks, igniting a new kind of desire, magic almost. She kissed him with the intensity of a feather, the grace of a child, the music of dawn. And only for a moment they shared heat, engulfing them in sweat and heartbreak. She was pulled away by who? It didn't matter. Their eyes danced in each other's hearts. And as they were dragged apart, they knew no one would love like this. She would never know love like this again. <laughs>